In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add product attributes to your cart that will also allow you to track inventory for each attribute. For example, color and size combinations. You have a, a t-shirt that comes in multiple colors and multiple sizes and you want to track the inventory for each color and size. If you're not tracking inventory and you just want to know how to create attributes like color or size then you then this is not the tutorial for you please watch one of my other um, general virtual mark configuration tutorials okay this is the product that we were looking at in the front end but before I get into that I want to show you um, the custom field that I created now normally uh, you would just use a custom size cart variant or a custom color cart variant if you weren't tracking inventory but because we're tracking inventory we're going to use a special plugin and I've already created this if I if I hadn't created I would just click new um, and um, yeah but I'll, I'll go ahead and just do that really quick for anyone that hasn't seen this done you just click new um, you click plugin and then you're going to click um, virtual mark custom field with stock control okay and then you're gonna call it a card attribute you don't need to assign it a parent you can give it any title you want um, let me close cancel this out though and so that's basically what I did was I gave it a title and I called it pick a size and then I called size here I'm gonna call it pick a size and color and color. Pick a size and color. So here we go. So the first uh, option that I gave was size and the other option I gave was color and you create one variation for each line here. And right now there's only one color black but we could add more later if we wanted to. Um, the uh, and if I, I would assume that if some products had different um, different color variations than other products you would just create a different um, a new one of these with those options on it okay save and close okay and you'll see where I'm gonna use that in a minute um, that's already been created for my clients so you don't really need to create that unless you want to create something with different color and size variations other than that you would then you would create a new one so go to uh, products and let's click on the t-shirt normally if I wasn't tracking inventory I would just click you know the size variant a few times and then I'd enter in my you know small medium large here and then if there's a price difference for any of them I'd I'd enter that there and that would show up as a drop-down box in the in the front end but since I am tracking inventory I actually need to create a new product or SKU for each size color variation and that way I can enter the stock control for each one so I have six sizes and only one color so I need to create six child products and I'm just gonna click one two three four five six the reason I did that is uh, because you have to click save um, after you make your edits and I don't want to click save another uh, six times so I'm just gonna create I'm though I'm gonna keep the, the the child names the same and you wanna keep these like that because this is what's gonna show up in the uh, in the shopping cart at, when people uh, check out um, but I'm gonna give each one its own uh, unique uh, title um, modifier um, small black uh, let's see small black 
that's the size and color uh, combination. So medium, medium black. Okay, and large black. And then an extra large black. Now 2XL black and 3XL XL black. Okay, and I'm going to add the cost here for each one. It's slightly different for the uh, two times and the three times large. Okay, and now I'm going to save and close. And um, it says no price set. I think that's a bug either in this installation or uh, or Virtue Mart itself. I'm not sure, but it wants when I'm creating these child products, it wants to uh, by default set it up as Afghani dollar. So I'm going to have to go in and United States dollar, uh, and then it'll it's it works regardless of whether or not I do that. It works. You don't have to do that. But um, uh, it won't. Sh it, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to. Uh, at least I believe it does. I double check. I'll I'll set some up, and I won't set stuff. We'll do a quick test. But um, okay. So the but the price is there, and I'm gonna just change under product status the uh, the uh, the in stock there. In stock five. Save and close. So the, um, yeah, you see, because now it shows up as $35 there. You know, saying no price set there, I think it works, but it annoys me, so I'm going to fix it anyway. Um, I don't ex expect my, extends the length of my tutorial, but uh, uh, just give me one second. I only have six products. And then I'm going to... Uh, Well, we can do that later. Here, okay, so now I'm going to go back to the main product here with the six children. And that's only the first step. The first step is creating the child products and assigning the, uh, the price and the, and, the, and the SKU. The, the next thing you want to do is go to that custom field, pick a size and color that I had created, and you want to match, match the... Um, the the medium black match it with the title so it says large black it knows it already is picks up on, on the fact that I've got child products and it's allowing me to um, enter in the uh, correct color size combination for each one here for each one of these attributes that I created all right and if I wanted to I could um, Add the additional price here, but it doesn't make a difference. Um, you do it. You you can. It will work if you add it here too. Um, but I just I would do it in one or the other, not both. I'm by no means uh, an an expert at this, so pick a size and a color and nothing showing up possibly because I don't have stock hold on small black I don't have stock for more than some something's wrong let me go in and figure out what's going wrong now let's go back to the uh, products Let's make sure that each one is with the United States dollar and that we have stock. Save and close. All right. Make sure that it's with the United States dollar. Make sure that we give it an SKU as well. 001. And this is, uh, let's call it XL black. All right for extra large black. I think that's the other thing I might have failed to do was just um, we've got stock of five here. We're going to call it uh, 001 uh, 2 
XL, XL black. So we'll give each one a um, what do I do with three XL black? Zero zero to zero one three XL black. So the the main shirt is zero zero one zero 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 one, and then we're just um, adding a modifier on the end of that with the uh, size and color. So this is zero one. Uh, this is going to be a small black. Zero one uh, large black. Make sure it says United States dollar. United States dollar. Make sure to have the uh, stock in there. Save and close. Only get that point. Okay, and then the last one. Zero zero one medium black. United States dollar. Okay, and we're going to add the stock five. Now I'm um, going to refresh that on the front end. It says pick a size color. No, that's not. Um, hold on, let me go back here. Okay, this is what I forgot to do here. Make sure to click this and make sure it's a product variant. And now click save. That was really the problem. So now we'll go here and... So there you go. This is in black. I need to edit the CSS there. But um, so yeah, so now you can choose small, medium, uh, large, extra large, Two times extra large, thirty-five bucks. Three times extra large, thirty-five bucks. For some reason, a small, yeah, small is thirty bucks. Medium, thirty dollars. Okay, so that's working correctly. The price is just changing automatically when we're on the right size. So, um, what's undefined? I'm not sure what that's supposed. To, what's that button doing right now? Okay. So I think I have a few other little uh, bugs in here that I need to fix, but in general, um, that is how you that is how you add the um, size and color trackable options. Um, just as a quick review, when you have a, a product that you want to add that to, you you go in here, add your child products. You can add more colors and this is going to automatically kind of uh, clone the item and associate it with um, your product here now you can see all those new products here and then edit them edit the SKU you can edit the name here the cost if you wanted to the uh, you don't need to add the description or the short description or add images at this location just because they're um, although you could just because they're um, they're uh, just going to show up as attributes to the the parent product anyway. But um, here at the the things like the SKU and the name and the price that'll show up in the cart. And the price is obviously important, so those are the things you need to pay attention to when you're editing those. And that's it. If you have any questions and you're one of my clients, feel free to email me.